Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we will be drawing a narwhal. So I picked up this cute little narwhal toy at the dollar spot at Target and I thought it would be the perfect little model for my drawing for today. It's such a good exercise and practice to use something real or in this case a toy to look at as you draw. So I'm going to start off with a pencil and then I will get a little fancier with marker. I'm going to look for basic shapes when I'm drawing. So I try to kind of start usually with maybe ovals or circles and try to keep it very basic. So I'm starting just with a very light sketch of an oval for the body. And then I'm going to add a little circle for the head. And even though they're connected, I like to kind of um, distinguish the difference and then I'm adding a little line for the tail and a little line for the narwhal tusk there that's heading up so you can see my drawings super basic but it just kind of helps get a feel for the sizes of things I'm kind of measuring okay the tusk is about this long the tail needs to be just a tiny bit longer Maybe I'll even indicate that the tail is in a U shape instead of just a straight line. So you can kind of get an idea of the basic fundamentals here. I'll add a little line for the fin that's coming down and really just try to keep it nice and basic um, as I am making these shapes. Now I'm gonna start connecting shapes and really look for the um, almost like the outline of the narwhal so this is where i'm looking more at the the lines you could call them contour lines the lines that make up the edges of the animal and i'm trying to kind of make those a little bit darker so you can kind of see the form start taking shape here of the animal so I'm taking my time on this step and really trying to make sure that I am being as accurate as I can when drawing these parts of the narwhal. I'm gonna go ahead and add that U shape and the tail here. And, and it's okay if it's not exactly like it, um, but as long as you get kind of the fundamentals, you can see even just looking at my sketch here, my narwhal is a little bit fatter than the one that I'm looking at. Um, my tail is maybe a little bit smaller, but you get the kind of general idea and, and those are just kind of stylized differences. All right, so I've got the eye that I'm gonna add and the smile as well. I'm also going to indicate the little dots that are on the narwhal's back. And just throw those on there as well. Keep it simple. Okay, so I'm done with my pencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to a marker so I can really kind of get the, the final details in. So I'm going to trace over my pencil lines here with marker to create a nice finished drawing of my narwhal. And I'm really taking my time, trying to make it nice and neat so I get a nice smooth line here for my outline. Now there are definitely things I could be adding a lot more details to if I wanted. I could really go into shading and things like that, but today I'm just looking for kind of a basic sketch of a narwhal. Go ahead and make the eye. I'm even going to add that filled in here and the mouth. I'm going to indicate where the darker part of the top and the lighter part of the bottom of the narwhal connect. I'll add those circles on the narwhal's back. I'm 
Now you can still see the pencil lines that I did for my drawing and so it is kind of nice to have a good quality drawing eraser so that when you're finished with this ink section you can go in and erase all of those pencil lines so that it'll be a nice solid drawing on its own. You can see I'm added lines to the tusk and now I'm going to add some lines to the fins just to give those a little bit more details. I'm looking at the toy here and it has some of those details on it as well. So it's kind of a cartoony looking narwhal but is just super cute and it would be a great addition to any underwater scene that you are creating, especially one that takes place in cooler climates because these narwhals like, tend to like the colder water temperatures. So feel free to add some nice scenery to your picture, maybe throw in some icebergs floating above the narwhal or maybe some other animals, other fish kind of swimming around as well. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and happy narwhal drawing, guys.